Professor Prime here with MindYourPlanet.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the MonsterVerse, Godzilla X-Kong, The New Empire, Godzilla Evolve. That's right guys, this is a figure that I just picked up from my local Walmart. You can get them at your Walmart, your Target, Amazon, you know, any, anywhere. They're from Playmate. They are in open packages. I'm not a big fan of the open packaging, but let's go ahead and talk about the figure and the packaging. So first, the packaging. I love the art. I love the art works pretty cool this is for four plus it's from toho legendary and playmates there is the uh, all the information item number we got godzilla evolve on the back of the box we've got some information we got it says it's fully articulated and posable we're gonna find out here he does come with his heat ray which i think is super cool and these are the other ones that you can get we're gonna be taking a look at most of these if not all of them by the end of the week as we are going to be wrapping up godzilla x Kong: the new empire is coming out this thursday as of recording this video on the 30, 30th I believe is a Thursday and I'm super 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 excited to be seeing this movie and super excited to be taking a look at this figure for you guys so let's go ahead and let's get Godzilla out of the packaging let's take a look at accessories we've got his heat blast right here which is as made out of this you know red pinkish translucent plastic it's actually pretty cool it's it's actually really cool how it works it basically plugs in uh, right here into his mouth you want to take Godzilla's mouth, shove it in there. It doesn't plug in. You just kind of shove it in there, just like that. And now he can just point at everybody. He's at everybody, so that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the figure. We have a couple more things that we need to do to set it up. So we have his tail, and I love, I love how his tail has got like this kind of. It's, it's got like this. Let's let's take a look at this. It's got this like really cool like battle axe. Kind of spikes on the tail tip now which i think is pretty cool is making it look a bit more like a lizard more dinosaur like and it's pretty simple how it plugs in there's a screw right here plug and it just kind of pops in there you might have to twist it a little bit to get it to pop in there but then it pops in now before we look at articulation let's look at some of the paint applications now mind you i'd like to remind everybody that this is made for kids four and up not the best looking thing however as you can see here we have some issues with now obviously the tail has articulation not a whole lot but the coloring versus this coloring so here we've got this again the same color translucent as the heat ray blast so but then down here it's not so there's that discolorization. I don't think Godzilla is the right color. That the face sculpt, the face paint is is it reminds me of the 50s. It reminds me of the, the old classic Godzillas. Which I you know what? It's stupid. It's cool. I love it. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about it. All about it, guys. So let's take a look at the articulation. So we've already kind of looked at the tail. You got you can kind of move the tail to, to either side and you could turn it like this and basically 360. Okay, so he's got full, he's got limited articulation in his leg. No, no knee, no knee joint. No knee joints whatsoever. That's, it's a shame. He does have a toe. Well, no, it's not a toe tilt, but you can basically turn his feet in a 360 spin. So you can kind of get a little bit, whatever dy dynamic pose out of him. Using using the toes, little spin falls over there. Uh, for the arms, you got it's like a like a almost can go all okay. It does go all around. So you do this direction, you get 360. It kind of stops right there. I do feel like this plastic is really weak, so be be careful. Uh, no articulation in the arms, no elbow, no fingers. And it's very tight. Uh, head is on. It, it looks like the head should supposed to be. It looks like it's supposed to turn, but it's. I, I'm really. It. I feel like it. There's a. It, it. It looks like it. It looks like it should turn, but it doesn't. You do have that. So he does open his mouth up so that you can do, and you just kind of plug plug this in, and you get his iconic blast. I think it's super cool, guys. It's not, it's not the greatest looking figure. It does have flaws, but I think it's, I think it's a really cool figure, guys. It's going to go great for the kids. You know, if you have a, oops, and you got a four-year-old, five-year-old, hell, even like a 40-year-old adult like me, 
can have a little bit of fun opposing it. I'm probably not going to display this Godzilla just because I feel like the colorization is kind of wrong. Doesn't look great to me, but let's do some comparisons. First up, we have Showa Air Godzilla. This is a, the NECA version, so you get a little sense of, you know, design. Here he is with Shin Godzilla. You can see how that works right there. I do love the, I do actually like the design of the Shin Godzilla. And lastly, we have from King of the Monsters, the NECA version of Godzilla. And they're the same Godzillas. So you guys can see the difference. Now, granted, this is a premium NECA figure that about $30. This is a ten dollar figure so there is the difference there he is with bumblebee final thoughts guys this godzilla evolve it's it's not a bad figure it's it's really not guys it, it does say that it's fully articulated and posable i i disagree a fully posable figure would include elbow elbow knee joints maybe not maybe not maybe not fingers but at least hand movement and head articulation and a pivot and maybe more articulation in the tail i do feel like if you have him standing up right like he is right now he's a bit more he's a too tall he's a little too stocky for me and that's unfortunate again i'm not going to drop any like my rating i'm going to give this figure a, a 3.5 for effort had this be like you know like all that you got for this line i'd be disappointed but this is the kids version there is a more expensive 15 dollars version of these figures that has better articulation it has better coloring and sculpt work on it and i look forward to neca and other third-party companies doing premium versions of the Seek Godzilla Evolve. I'm definitely going to pick up one, go with my King of the Monsters uh, version of the character once that comes out, whether it's NECA or if I see some other sh company do it. But overall, it's not a bad figure, guys. Like, can't really go wrong with the figure. I think it's great. It looks the part for the most part. I don't know yet. We haven't seen the movie yet. I look forward to seeing the movie on Thursday, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this review, go ahead and give me a like on the video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, check out this video right here. And as always, guys, until next time.